Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric rotary wall telephone. And this is Dan's telephone from MA. And basically he's having this telephone done uh, for a Mother's Day deal and uh, so that's pretty cool and he's got some issues with this telephone it says uh, his note here says this phone is uh, was working recently and then basically just stopped uh, it does ring when a call comes in but you can't hear anything when answering it and then he's asking if we can uh, repair the connection on the back of the telephone like if you were going to walk up to a wall plate and uh, go ahead and hang it on a, a more modern wall jack okay so basically this was a hardwired telephone of course because it is uh, a rotary telephone and it's had some things done to it so there's a plate that's been added and we're going to get into all that we have the cover in the background there and uh, so what we want to do here is the hard wire that they've got going in here that's even kind of disconnected so I'm not sure if there was a, a situation where someone was looking for the problem or what went on but it doesn't really matter this is the initial checkout and we're just kind of going through everything that's on there um, what we want to show you is the telephone itself but then I want to flip it around and show you the back so basically what's happened here is somehow this telephone ended up with a wall plate that would have been a more modern situation where you would have had a little uh, modular port plug here when you're hanging it on the wall but it's missing it's not there and you have your hardwired connections coming out so basically we have to get another port plug for the wall plate so it has its plate but no port and another thing I want to show you is they installed a modular plug for the handset cord at some point and these are a little different style what these did was they had a little uh, connection here that slid onto the plate and later on these plugs were changed and they weren't in that type of a design because they had a different backboard on them so we're just going to be in, in the uh, handset is modular too so at some time uh, in the past this uh, telephone was converted to a modular situation but yet somehow it ended up with a back plate on it that was more modern that doesn't have the uh, modular port adapter in it so not sure exactly what happened but we're going to get it all squared away for Dan and this is the initial checkout so we're going to get some video of this telephone as we move along in the progress of uh, the repair of the telephone and we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back okay we're back now and we are finished up with the repair of this telephone and we're going to kind of run through a little bit about what went on uh, we went ahead and went through the telephone made sure all the connections uh, were proper and just kind of went through a little bit of everything on the telephone another issue we took care of was earlier in the video the plate that's on the back of this telephone which was installed later on so it would accept the modular plate the plug was missing and someone left the wiring harness to that plug inside the telephone and it was connected to the network not a good idea so we removed that we also installed a, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that now uh, we also installed the modular port plug that we need that the wall plate accepts so we have our wall plate here and we're going to start doing our final checks I want to go ahead and show you the back of this telephone now and we have our modular port plug right here now if you you know are not connecting up telephones every day you know it might be a little difficult for someone to walk up to the wall with this telephone and then have your plug uh, plate at the wall and then match up the two and then connect them so 
So you want to do this slowly so that you do not damage the port plug. And that's probably what happened in the earlier plug that this unit had in it when they put this plate on and that's why they had the hardwire uh, line coming out. They probably went back to hardwire and uh, damaged this plug. So what you want to do is you want to have this plug somewhere in this lower bottom area. Okay, and they do have a lot of movement on them because they were meant to have a lot of movement. And so you want to make sure while you're connecting this plug up that your two eyelets here, your standoffs, match your holes here while you're getting this port plug into the wall plug. So you kind of want to take a look and see what's going on. And it's all going to just come together and then slide up a little bit. You're going to pull your phone down. So you want to take, and you can see that it seized the analyzer now. So you want to take some care in reinstalling your telephone. If you do not, you will break your plug. And so, you know, that's just the way it goes. So take your time when you're uh, putting these telephones back on the wall. So anyway, now what we want to do is run through our final checks. I want to go ahead and uh, install our line cord over into our switch box. And we're going to go ahead and ring the telephone. I'm going to let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time. I'm going to give you some dial tone. If you watch the analyzer, I'm going to walk through the numbers. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I'm going to transmit into the handset. So if you watch this red light here on the analyzer, every time I transmit, that red light is an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hello, hello. I'm going to hang up, give you some dial tone again. We'll go ahead and hang up. When I press this button on the switch box, that's going to take me to an outside line, and the analyzer is going to totally be out of the situation. And we'll go ahead and call a time and temp number. I want to give you some dial tone. Now that we know that this telephone has been repaired, we can return it to Dan and he can go ahead and go through with his plans for a Mother's Day gift. And uh, that's a cool situation and they can enjoy the telephone. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.